Hey tech enthusiasts! Today, we're diving into the intriguing and somewhat terrifying world of cyber warfare and espionage. Recently, Hezbollah, the prominent political and militant group in Lebanon, became the target of a series of explosions caused by something you'd never expect. Pagers, yes, you heard that right, pagers. These seemingly outdated devices were rigged with explosives in a high-tech operation believed to be orchestrated by Israel. Let's break down how this incredible feat of technology and espionage was pulled off. First, a bit of background. Hezbollah members have been using pagers to avoid surveillance through more modern communication devices like cell phones. This makes sense because pagers are much less likely to be tracked or hacked in real time. However, this also made them a prime target for a sophisticated attack. So how did these pagers get weaponized? The process likely involved several high-tech steps. First, acquiring or manufacturing pagers that could house small explosive devices. These devices would need to be extremely compact, but powerful enough to cause significant harm. Next, the attackers would have to infiltrate the supply chain or directly place these rigged pages into the hands of Hezbollah members. This could involve classic espionage tactics like bribery, blackmail or even covert operations. The level of sophistication suggests a well-planned and meticulously executed operation. The explosive component itself would be the real marvel here. We're talking about micro detonators that can be remotely triggered or set off by a specific signal. This technology isn't just off the shelf, it requires advanced knowledge of both electronics and explosives. Now why use pagers? The answer lies in their perceived security. Pagers are considered low tech and thus low risk for surveillance, making them ideal for covert communication. By weaponizing these devices, the attackers exploited this false sense of security in a way that was both unexpected and devastating. The impact of these attacks has been severe. At least 29 people have died, and over 450 have been injured. The death toll includes 10 Hezbollah members, which has only escalated tensions in the region. The international community is on edge, urging all parties to exercise restraint to prevent further escalation. This incident not only highlights the vulnerabilities in seemingly secure communication methods, but also serves as a grim reminder of the lengths to which states and organizations will go in the realm of cyber warfare. So there you have it. A chilling example of how technology can be weaponized in ways we might never have imagined. Stay curious, stay informed, and as always, keep questioning the tech around you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more deep dives into the world of technology. Until next time, stay safe.